Hey, I'm finally getting around to doing some art journaling. Yay! Okay, I am, I've already gessoed my pages, or my page. I'm actually just gonna work on this side and this one little inclusion right here. So, what I'm doing is I'm taking some Liquitex modeling paste. I'm using this Crafters Workshop stencil, and I am, I don't think I want quite that much. Got a lot of modeling paste there. This feels so weird working on a page because I haven't done one in so long. So I've been doing other projects, so. I really miss this. Okay, so I'm gonna take, oh, I guess I did need all that. there to be some height to this. So I'm doing a pretty thick layer here. Okay. I got over here on that side. All right. I like how that looks. I'm gonna do a little bit down here, not quite as much. I'm gonna see if I can scrape up. Whoops. Well, that just got messed up. Yeah, that's not gonna turn out quite as nice, but we're going with it. And then I'm going to do just a little teeny tiny bit here on this inclusion. Trying not to mess it up over here. I want to try to scrape some of this off to use it so it won't go to waste. Maybe just a little bit more here. Okay, I'm going to scrape this off because I don't want it on this page. All right, so I'm going to let that dry and um, I'll come back to do the next step. Okay, this is dry now and I've just got some distress paints out and I'm just going to randomly throw some color on. I'm using um, spice marmalade, mustard seed, and wild honey. At least that's what I'm going to start out with. We'll see how it goes. I think I'm going to start out dark around the edge and then work my way in light. So I'm just going to go on the corners. Then I'm going to use this to kind of smear it around. Oops. Schmear some more. And then I'm going to come do the side here. And then bring it into this inclusion over here a little bit. I guess having that was kind of worthless. Okay. And I'm not even going to bother to clean this. I'm just going to use it and come in with the next lightest color, which is this wild honey.
I think I'm just going to do right in the center, like a little bit of that yellow, well, mustard seed, I mean, so. Smear it again. here then okay now I'm coming in with a little bit of that mustard seed And I've got to figure out if I want to do a little bit of um, spraying this just to see how the water will react with it all but I don't know do I want to do that do I want to do that hmm yeah I think I am gonna do that Let's just see what it does. It may not do anything. Maybe wipe up some of it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Let's wipe some of it up. Leave some dark spots on it still. Okay, I think I like that. All right, so I am going to let that dry now and try to figure out what I'm gonna do next. Cause again, I have no idea where I'm going with this. I'm just kind of playing around. So I'll be back. Okay. I have got another crafters workshop template out and I am going to draw a heart and I'm drawing it on the back side of the text. This is just a book text. And I'm doing it on the back side because I don't want the pencil mark to show. And just in case I'm sloppy and I show some of that, I don't want it to be a problem. So I'm going to use pan pastel on top of this because I haven't used my pan pastels in a while. And um, so they're translucent. You'd be able to see the pencil mark. So I am just going to cut around this. <laughs> I'm still doing a crap job. <laughs> Sheesh. Okay. I have been putting off buying the Silhouette Cameo so that I won't have to do this kind of stuff. I can just let a machine do it for me. But now that I've seen the Brother Scannon cut is getting ready to come out, I'm holding off doing that until I've seen it that scanning cut to see how it works so until then i'll have to hand cut all this stuff okay so i've got my heart and i'm just going to come in with some of my pan pastels in the red and i'm just taking a little sponge one i've already used somewhere and i'm I think I'm going to go in with this color right here, which is Permanent Red Shade. Okay, and I'm just going to be a little loosey-goosey with this, and I'm not doing the whole thing. 
kind of want it to be a little sloppy. I still want some of the white to show. So I really want to focus mainly on the outer And now I'm just cleaning my sponge off. Okay. Do it a little bit lighter there. All right. And then because I'm going to put more wet meteor, meteor. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, holy smokes. More wet media over the top of this. What I'm going to do is put work little Holy smokes, I don't know what's wrong with me. My tongue's all wrapped up today. I'm going to put workable fixative over the top of this <clears throat> so that I can continue to put more wet media on top. <clears throat> and right now I'm trying to put my pan pastels up because i got a mess on my desk now. Okay. So, workable fixative. Here we go. And you're supposed to, you're supposed to do this outside, but I never pay attention. I live dangerously. I wouldn't recommend doing it, but I don't ever do anything I'm supposed to do anyway. So, there you go. All right, so I'm going to uh, let that dry just a little bit. And then bring this back and I pull down another Distress Ink paint color, I mean, Distress Paint. This time in a really contrasting color, I have decided to go with Picked Raspberry. And I have some stamps. I have a couple of uh, these Technique Tuesday stamps that I am going to use and I get this going. I don't know how this is going to turn out because I have never used these acrylic or the distress paints on clear stamps before. So <laughs> we'll see how this goes. I may hate it. Hey, I don't hate it. All right. So let's just kind of stick with that. I don't want to forget my inclusion. Do a little bit there. Finish it off there. Some more here. those fumes. Uh, hmm. I don't really know how I want to do this. Okay, and then I have another one that I'm going to use. This is like just some dictionary definitions it looks like. I don't ever keep the packaging from any of the things that I buy, so I never know what it is when I'm using it. All right, and I think I'm just gonna go Oh shoot, I guess I forgot about over here. And let's just do it right there. Kind of in the center. All right. Let's just wipe it off. Okay, so now I'm gonna let that dry. Then I'm gonna come back because I've got to clean these stamps now. I've got to go wash these off before they get all dried. And um, I'll be back and put the heart on there and go on with the next step. 
Okay, so I did go in with the baby wipe to lift some of the paint off of the raised modeling paste because I kind of wanted that text to show through and it got buried underneath all that paint and the paint had dried so I really had to get down and, and scrub on that so anyway now I am going to place my heart down here so I'm gonna grab a brush and do that just gonna put it on the back side here I'm using collage podge and I'm also going to put some down there that was a rude sound Now, hopefully that workable fixative was enough that my paint won't, that pan pastel, I mean, won't run around on me. And it is a little bit, but nothing like it would have had I not used that workable fixative on top. So, yeah, that's good enough for me right there. Okay, so now I'm just making sure I'm getting the air bubbles out. Okay, so now I'm gonna let that um, dry. And, or am I? Hmm. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm just gonna go right into it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to let it dry. Shoot. All right, I'll be back. Okay, now I have the Liquitex ink in black. I'm gonna outline the heart. I still don't know what I'm gonna do on my inclusion over here. Right row, I forgot to do the back side. Hmm, alrighty then. I may just do this little center part separately. That may be some little art piece on its own. Yeah, all right. Problem resolved. All right, I'm gonna fill up the dauber, 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 whatever it's called. Whoops. I was trying to be neat, but I'm not being too neat here. I'm a little shaky. I just got off the treadmill, so. <laughs> I am a little shaky. Okay, I've got my water bottle just in case. Just in case, and it looks like it's going to be one of those just in case moments. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. That needs to do a little bit more. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Uh oh. I wasn't paying no attention. Okay. Alrighty. I like that drippy goodness. Bill U T full. Alright, I'm gonna let that dry. <laughs> I need a tape recording of that comment. I'm gonna let that dry and be right back and just keep hitting rewind and play again because I say that quite a lot. I think I may even come in here, do a little bit. Oh, I didn't want to soak that much up. Okay, all right, I'll be back. Okay, I'm gonna take this, um, I'm gonna take this stamp, Cre it says create on it. I like that. And I'm gonna put that right here ink it up real good. Ew. This isn't inking up very well. Yikes. 
I think I need to get my reinker on that pad. Okay, and I'm going to stick a mouse pad underneath here because I want a really good impression. And this is kind of wonky, so hopefully this will turn out. I hope, I hope. Oopsies. Eh. Well, yeah. You know, the image came out really good. It's just that <clears throat> the ink is kind of light on it. So, all right. But it's good enough for me. So, all right. And then, and then, and then what? Oh, yeah. I was going to date this again with my very dry ink pad over here and I think I'm going to have it sideways September 23rd okay I think the only thing that I'm going to do to finish this off is to take another contrast color and go around frame it out a little bit I don't think I want to go around the entire thing though we'll just play it by ear and see how that goes so I grabbed peeled paint I'm just gonna shake it up grab my sheets again because I don't want to contaminate the sheets underneath. There we go. I don't know that I'm going to like this. We'll see. I think I like it <clears throat> and I don't think I really want to do anything else to this I think that's it so yeah I kind of like that I think I like it all right so I'm gonna call this one done and I will see you guys later bye